hey guys and welcome back to assassin's creed origins and uh, as you can see i am wearing the new seasons pass outfit the horus pack uh, which gives me uh, the vestment of horus and apophis the new camel mount and it gives me a light bow and a hunter bow the light bow called morning sun and uh, the hunter bow called crescent moon and put the sun and moon together we get a shield called sun and moon uh, as you can see uh, going directly into the bows i'm going to be comparing it with the other fire bow which is death storm which as you can see is pretty much similar to the crescent moon but crescent moon has higher damage and those of you who don't have the season pass well you can use the death storm because it's similar to the crescent moon just a bit lower damage and yeah it does adrenaline on kill and this one does combo multiplier so they're pretty much same but yeah the crescent moon looks better a bit with the designs on it that's all uh and the next one is the light bow called morning sun which uh, compare it with the composite bow this is my actually this is everyone's favorite bow if you have it uh this is the best it's way better and advantageous for you guys if you have this bow rather than uh, using the morning sun that's my opinion and i'm pretty sure most of you agree with it and comparing the sun and moon shield to the compendium which is supposed to be the most coolest shield which is in the game already uh, for those of you who think that the seasons pass has you keeping from uh, getting something exclusive well you're not really missing out on anything because you already have uh, a lot of better things in the game and as a seasons pass holder i myself am not happy with the horus pack right now like i said um i'm just half happy about the horus pack outfit because half of the upper outfit is great and the lower half is like oh my god well getting to the shields this is the shield comparison ranged resistance is one bar lower than the compendium compendium has damage absorption rate which is pretty good but then i was looking for something that does fire resistance and i got it from this pack and those of you who don't have this well there is a another shield which does some kind of a fire resistance thing oh there it is this one does fire resistance but it's a rare shield and not legendary i was using this as you saw in the previous video of the uh, trial of sobek but yeah i'm comparing it to the compendium shield because the compendium shield has the best stats that you can get in game while playing for defense and since it has the same uh, bleeding on block effect as the sun and moon shield i thought i'll compare it to this uh, i would have liked the health on parry but then yeah i don't mind the bleeding on block but for some reason i like this because a legendary shield has fire resistance and i finally got it it's my personal preference that i wanted fire resistance and i didn't want to use the rare shield so i'm going to be using this now i will be testing it out and if i didn't like it i'm going back to this one reinforced shield and now coming finally back to this horus pack uh, outfit as you can see it looks pretty cool and you can see peekaboo right inside the mouth you can see bayek's face hiding in the hood and that is the horus pack uh, vestment of horus outfit which has really good detail on the upper half of the body including the arms which have uh, like bandaged uh, designs on it bleeding on the bandage which is pretty detailed i don't know why would they would do this they should have ah uh, 
Come on, Ubisoft, why didn't you give him some pants? That's the only thing I don't like about this. Which is going to become the major issue for me not to be wearing this at all. Can you see that happening? Oh my god. Well, that's it guys. Uh, this is the Horus pack. As you can see, the upper half is pretty well detailed and then the lower half, well, if he crouches, you can see his crouch. Wait, I hope... Yeah, you got what I said, right? <laughs> if he crouches, well, you can see his crouch because he's crouching. Yeah, anyway, and that's the mount which we have, the chocolatey colored uh, camel with the skulls and then the little kitty on its neck and then the the camel itself is a chocolate colored camel dark chocolate and it's wearing an assassin's creed outfit of its own with the masked face so that no one recognizes the camel and it has a few cool designs on it as well and the skulls kind of make it more uh, more threatening I think as a camel <laughs> I don't know but that's it this is the Horus pack and I hope you guys enjoyed this and the next time I'm gonna be doing a gameplay maybe I'm gonna be using the Waz scepter against any other enemies that there are out there and maybe I'll do another gameplay of the trial of Sobek using the Horus pack well maybe not this bow I'm going to be using the composite bow, of course. And I'll be using the camo too. Just for a short while before I switch to my um, Ghost Rider horse. <laughs> like I would like to call it. And this is the Waz Scepter. It is the Waz Scepter. It is Waz would be I don't know it was it is it is was uh, this is <laughs> this this is was uh, this is was was this uh, okay this is the was scepter okay that sounded right okay uh, I'll be doing the gameplay with this later Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little preview. Uh, there's nothing to enjoy about this guy wearing no pants. At least he's wearing some on the pants. That's pretty modest of him. Sheesh. Ubisoft, if you guys are watching this, give him some pants. At least something that looks like the Roman outfit. I mean, come on. The Roman outfit had pants, even though the other Roman outfits don't have pants in the game. You still gave pants for this Roman outfit. Why? Even though it's the season's pass, and then you gave this outfit no pants. Is it on purpose just to make us feel bad that we wasted our money on this? Anyways, I hope you guys like this because i have like this and have not so yeah that's it uh see you guys next time and tata uh bye bye sayonara oh, wait i mean bye see ya catch you guys later